Welcome back. 6.40 on Daybreak. And this weekend, a trip to Niagara Falls is going to be even more spectacular because kites will be part of the landscape. Kevin O'Neill is learning more about the International Kite Festival. Morning, Kev. Good morning. I'm all, the only thing I can kite are checks. Ah. <laughs> not, not a very funny joke. Well, but consider the source. Exactly. All right. Hey, Meg, how you doing? Good. Meg Kevin. Albers, the uh, kite festival is back. And it's... Uh, we were there yesterday, LaSalle Park in Buffalo, some beautiful kites in the air. Can you give us an overview of the event, what's going on over the next couple of days? Yeah, we're going to be here at Terrapin Point on Thursday and Friday. There's uh, some activities of trying to reenact the Holman Walsh contest and connect the U.S. and Canada with a kite. Via kite. Via kite. The uh, first suspension bridge was built because they got the first line across with a kite in 1848. I didn't know that. Is that true? Honestly, yeah. Oh, they wanted to build the first man. suspension bridge. They just built the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh -huh. Had the technology because of the gorge. Couldn't get the first line across. Holman Walsh, a 15 year old boy from Niagara Falls, United States, flew from the Canadian side because of prevailing wind. Wow. And they built a bridge. We're hopefully going to get the first line across and connect the U.S. and Canada with an arch of kites. Uh-huh. Uh, because uh -huh. the longest peaceful border in the history of, you know. How fun is that? Yeah. But in the meantime, we'll have kites at Terrapin, we'll have kite making, we'll have still walking and, mm. and some little vignettes and street theater and uh -huh. just have a good time. Here, a reservoir, a lot of stuff going Saturday on. Saturday and Sunday, a reservoir, just beautiful big show kites. And, mm. and we there's the daredevils are because the falls attract daredevils uh -huh. from all over the world. And the bug ears and you see the big traction kites that they use for kite surfing right. well these guys use land boards and bug ears and and they'll be zipping around in their little well, it's, a, it's a bug ear they're they're being pulled by yeah, a kite but yes. they're on a wheel vehicle yeah a little okay. three-wheeled cart that they sit in and then the big traction kites get them enough power they go 30 50 miles an hour in a, in a Jeez, decent wind cool you know the big traction kites that they use for air when they're doing the kite surfing mm -hmm. those kites they use on land is how's kiting as a hobby doing it's doing well. It's uh -huh. doing very well. Um, they're a part of the Red Bull team, if they've seen that. Uh -huh. um, it's, it's getting, you know, when we went to school, you had to read and memorize and kind of regurgitate. Sure. Now it's all hands-on and interactive, and, uh -huh. and you know, they're perfect for geometry. They're perfect That's true. You know, to help, of, help uh, to get the butt off the couch. That's right. You know? A lot of math and science involved yeah, in kiting, yeah, and yeah. you can see that in action by seeing yeah. these guys. Uh, the reservoirs, a lot of action are here. Terrific points, a lot of stuff going yeah. on as well. And how, how cool is it to have these people converging on Western New York? Oh, we have uh, 10 countries and something like 12 states represented. We have people from Israel and Tasmania, mm -hmm. New Zealand, Japan, Germany, wow. England, yeah, and then you know, all over the United States, several from California and uh, Texas and Colorado. and yeah, yeah, No, then, you know, every time they come and they say, we had no idea Western New York was so beautiful. We had no idea. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell us? Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, rather than list all the events at Times Niagara, Kite. Dot com has all the information. We'll link it up to our website uh, as well. Beautiful morning. All right. Thanks very much.